Freak. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Who's ready for a bike ride? I sure am. Are you bourbon? Let's go. Guys, so by now, you should have gotten your dog used to be next to a bicycle and maybe moved him up and down around your uh, driveway or somewhere at home where it was a nice quiet area. And now you're ready to take it for a test run. So here's what we need to do first, okay? First step is let's not go straight into traffic, guys, okay? We, last thing we want is to make this a horrible experience for everybody, right? We want this to be recreational, you have fun, your dog have fun, everybody expensive energy and so forth, right? So the last thing we wanna do is go find the busiest area that we can find and have your dog get freaked out by traffic, loud horn or so forth. So the first thing I would do is start in your neighborhood. Find a nice quiet street where you can actually go up and down. Even if you live like in a cul-de-sac, a dead end, find somewhere, even a parking lot. I mean, everything's closed right now. So maybe find an empty parking lot, okay? Where there's little to no traffic. And that way you can start there with little to a little bit of actual distraction work going on, right? So that's the first step. Second step's gonna be working on some speed, okay? You're gonna see here that as I increase my speed, Bourbon increases his speed. But at the same time, what we don't want to do is have him running at full potential the entire time. We want to find that little sweet spot. We want to find that little area where their dog is kind of just trotting along in stride and it almost looks a little fluid. It kind of looks like a pretty little dance almost like your dog is doing. So when you find that little sweet spot, that's where you want to start morphing your dog the most because that's going to be the most efficient area. That's where your dog is not going to be over pushing themselves as well as doing any damage to their body. Okay. So find that little magic little trotting area where your dog is actually going to be in a nice little stride and kind of trotting along by your side here. So that's the second thing we want to do. All right, so let's get ahead now. All right, so we've done our practice runs in our neighborhood. We've actually gone up and down our cul-de-sac or our dead end. We're whizzing around the parking lots. Well, now we're ready to go and get into a busier environment. So you'll see here, I highly recommend, and I mentioned it in the first video, utilizing a prong collar, okay? Now, there's two rings on a prong collar. One is the live ring, the active one, that actually creates the action. And the other one is what's called the dead ring. And the way we use the dead ring is we actually link both rings together. What this is going to do is make it a less aggressive form of a correction. Because the last thing we want is for something to pop out that freaks out your dog. And your dog hits the brakes. Well, it's gonna get harshly corrected if it's at that form of live ring because you're in movement, the dog's gonna to come to a harsh stop and the last thing we want is your dog to get harshly corrected and scream and not enjoy this experience. So we're going to utilize what's called the dead ring here, okay? Coming to a stop. Good, awesome. Good job, Burby. Good job. So, you'll see here in this little clip that we just posted, utilizing the dead ring, okay? 
that's going to give you kind of a little bit of a breaks, but not so aggressive where your dog's going to hurt themselves. That's the last thing we want right now. The last thing we want to do is make sure that we don't overwork our dog, okay? Bourbon is roughly, I think he's like nine months now. Um, gosh, has it been that old already? Jesus, time flies. So bourbon is roughly about nine months right now. And we have practiced doing this for, whew, almost lost it. We have practiced doing this for about two weeks now, maybe. And now I've gotten to a point where we can effectively ride for about 10 or 15 minutes. So make sure that we watch our dog's threshold. We don't want to go too far because we don't want to overexert them. And at the same time, we want to make sure that we don't cause any injuries, okay? Just like yourself. First time you're going to get back in shape, you don't go and run an eight mile marathon. No, you're gonna go work your way up to that so you don't get hurt and you actually enjoy the exercise. So the same thing with your dog is, start with just five minutes to start, then maybe 10 minutes and so forth. And always make sure to inspect their pads afterwards. Make sure that there's no breakdown, watch for glass on the ground. Just make sure that there's nothing wrong with those pads before you go out the next time because we don't want them to be hurting while they're running next to your side. So, man, I know we're supposed to be social distancing and all that good stuff, and I am. I mean, we're staying away from each other, but it actually feels nice to get out and get some air flowing here, get some exercise, get bourbon some exercise. Man, this feels good. I can't wait for you guys to start doing this here. All right, so if you have any other questions, like always, drop them in the comments below. And that way we can actually see and hear what you're struggling with so that we can help you maximize this exercise for your dog to get some actual engagement and physical energy built up. All right, Burb, what do you say we get back inside? Let's go. Bourbon, get. Come on, buddy. There he is. There's the Burbster. That was a fun little tutorial, wasn't it, guys? I love riding my bike and loving riding my bike with bourbon, gosh. So again, just like we say in all our videos, take your time, guys, all right? What you're seeing in this video here didn't happen in real time, if you haven't figured that out. You gonna go lay down, bud? All right. So, oh, that's what you went to do. Go get your antler, of course. I'm telling you, he loves this thing. Here, bud, come on, come on, get up here. So again, what you're seeing now is not real time. You're watching some of these other trainers' videos out there and they're giving you these big hopes and dreams and saying these things happen in 30 seconds when realistically they don't. What you're seeing right now in the video is about two weeks worth of work that I did with Bourbon. Mind you now, I work with him every day. He has an idea what heel is. He understands what a prong collar is. So we are a little bit ahead of the game. So I need you to slow down, not literally just with the bike riding, but in general. This is gonna take a few steps, just like we did this video. So don't get frustrated if your dog's not riding a bike perfectly the first day. Maybe it's gonna take a week for your dog, maybe two weeks, I don't know. But I promise you, you follow the steps that we put in that video, you will get there. I hope you guys love this video just as much as I did, because at least I got to get some exercise and little bourbon gets to burn up some energy as well. So, like always, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe. And if you don't hit that notification button, you're never gonna know when we put up new content and we love to put up new content. Oh yeah, if you haven't seen it, make sure you check us out Thursday, April 9th, live, 7 o'clock p.m., Instagram and Facebook platforms with Berry House Brewing. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.